This is Rod Kusinen, Spooman for Risk, December 7th, 2010. All times on the chart are Central Standard Time. We're going to look at uh, just a few pointers from um, uh, today's activities. Uh, uh, this is Tuesday. We had a pretty much a, a sell off going on from the uh, open. And uh, we'll just look at our pivot strategy uh, trades here. The uh, pivot strategy, the, the first trade that it gave was a long trade on the way down, hit profit target, uh, um, and uh, that was uh, that was good. So that was our first uh, trade. Then as the market moved up into the high of the afternoon, it uh, nailed that high. Oh my goodness. And much to our uh, chagrin, too. And then we had, um, as you see, a, a final uh, long trade here. Not very, uh, not a very good time to be going long given the pattern. Um, but uh, the big question that we all had today that we're trading this was what was the market direction? And uh, it was very, very tough to see, very tough. Uh, we had so many retracements both above and below the market. Uh, you know, it was a coin flip as to wh what direction this was really going to go. We were kind of of the opinion that we would be going up into a new high for the day. But uh, there was indication that there had been news that came out right at the time of this uh, uh, short. And uh, what that was remains to be seen. I'll be uh, scanning the uh, resources to find out what it was, but it certainly did tank into a red day pattern down with lows in the last half hour, and it's still going down as we speak. All right, now here's the uh, pivot strategy. We had a few more trades on the pivot strategy than we did on the, excuse me, this is the divergence strategy. A few more trades on the divergence strategy than we did on the pivot uh, strategy. And uh, here, as you can see, we had our first uh, set of trades on the way down again on both of these retracements. Um, early trade right in here. Then shorted this move as well as on the top here. And then toward the close, um, we started going long again. Based upon pattern, we know that this kind of a pattern will generally produce lows in the last half hour. So these long trades in here, in terms of the timing, were very poorly placed. Now, we have nothing in the system that, that we can manipulate to uh, address the timing of the trades, but we can certainly use some discretion based upon experience to know that in this kind of a red day down, as we call it, the last, the, uh, the lows are in the last half hour, not in, uh, not prior to the last half hour. So a trade like in here or in here or really over here, that would make some sense, but really there's no major point to try to go long on a uh, in, in the last half hour on a red day. If anything, you're just looking to exit uh, a short trade. So that's our video for today. We've got a lot of retracements left. Look at that. We've got retracements way back at 34.75. For, so what we would anticipate for tomorrow would be a further sell-off early morning, and, unless, of course, this takes place overnight. But we'd expect a further sell-off tomorrow morning and then a rally back up into uh, highs, I would imagine, in the mid-afternoon. That would be as best as I could tell, knowing what we have on the charts right now. But uh, we may have to reevaluate that once fair value comes out 
but we've had a short bias all day long. We never we never had anything but a short bias. Uh, so that having been said, we look forward to another good day uh, tomorrow. As always, uh, feel free to uh, uh, give us a call. And as for a demo, we have a trading room on PalTalk. The link is on our website, rsksys.com. That uh, trading room will be going private uh, mid-December, and uh, you're welcome to join us as a guest. But we'll screen you first before we do. In any case, we thank you for your support. This is Rod Kusin and Spooman for Risk.